Louise Ritterstrom is a Swedish professional golfer known for her promising career. Born in 1992, she made a mark in women's golf through her exceptional skills and dedication. She played collegiate golf at UCLA and has competed on various tours, including the LPGA and Ladies European Tour. Louise Ritterstrom's talents continue to shine, making her a rising star in professional golf. In this YouTube analysis video, I will show you her cause and effect in what I believe to be one of the most fluid, effortless motions on either tour at the moment, something we can all try to impart on our motions. If you get any enjoyment or education out of this video, please support us by liking, commenting, sharing, or even subscribing to our channels as we continue to try to provide free education on cause and effect of the golf swing. Your support helps us send funding to the Hill Hood program in South Africa to get low-income children into golf. But enough of that jib-jab, let's get ready to analyze the great Luis Ritterstrom. Good afternoon, Lion Golf Academy members and guests, and welcome back. We have Louise Ritterstrom on the screen, and her swing is very, very simple. It is a straight back, straight through motion, something I feel I wanted to show you because this is what I want you to try and emulate more often. Less moving parts, very steady upper body, very steady lower body, and let's take a look at what happened. We have our normal lines on the screen. We have the lower plane line, upper plane line, spine angle, back brace line, and head brace line. Right side of the screen, we have our right hip brace line, impact line, and our shoulder tilt line. Now, do you notice on the shoulder tilt line, we will take a look at where she is connected with her shoulders and her center of her chest goes right through her hands out in front of that ball. So she does have a forward press, slightly strong grip, and this will cause her to delay her release. But she has a really unique motion of impact, which I want you to try and emulate more of where the whole body strikes that golf ball while she holds off that release. However, if you take a look at where her ball placement is compared to her center of her chest, it's right in the center as opposed to other tour professionals where we see them creeping up on that left side. And we will see how she uses this at impact but her golf ball on a 90 degree axis to her shoulder tilt is on her right shoulder so this shows you where the power is moved through all right let's take a look at that left side of the screen look at that lower plane line watch those hands go right through that layer lower plane line as we get to the midway point where the club is halfway back parallel to the ground what we can see she's still relatively close to her spine angle line we see a slight dipping forward and she does dip forward and down usually a result of her storing energy as she's moving slightly down down towards the ground which allows her that's a horrible line and what this is doing is she is storing her weight down into her feet almost like she's getting ready to jump up not as much as some other tour pros but you can see it's a slight motion right side of the screen we're going to take a look at this angle here and see how long she retains that angle immediately we can see those hands starting to pull back slightly away from her one piece takeaway and we see that angle get depleted and once we get to the midway point which is about there we can see that we do have a wrist hinge that is set now this is still working around a one piece takeaway because we see the chest and the hands are right connected to each other which makes sure that her hands are still connecting to that turn which is a huge thing i want you to look at now what helps her is that right hip if you look at that right hip it doesn't cross over it is just turning now if we complete the backswing on the right side of the screen we can see her arms and hands do raise up higher to that secondary plane line but look at that hip we have some spacing between between her right hip line and now it means that she is just turned over if we take a look at her spine angle that's set up we can see her spine angle is still leaning back of the target for a driver that's very important because you want to hit up on the ball and if you take a look at the angle that your hands are going to go through it's basically 90 degrees from that spine angle line and that's not exactly 90 degrees but it's close enough for government work and that is your launch angle folks so if you can just keep your spine angle corrected and keep it maintained it will launch that golf ball up in the air You'll see some long drive hitters at impact get to a spine angle like this so they're really hitting up on the golf ball and increasing that launch angle keep it relative though don't get so crazy because obviously we are weekend warriors we cannot have the lifestyle they have and they are built for this they work out and stretch all week long to develop this motion so take it with a grain of salt but look at that spine angle at the top of your swing and maintain that spine angle do not shift left and straighten out your spine angle that's where you hit down on it you move that ball position back and you flip increasing the backspin which is not what you want to do with a driver okay let's keep going back on the left side of the screen as we see now look at the upper body starting to lean down towards the target we start losing a little bit of a spine angle but watch the arms the arms don't really lift up they stay down towards that lower plane line which is really good she is connecting her hands almost to her belly button and she completes that turn now the arms go up from that point and get to that secondary plane line 
almost perfectly but take a look at this i'm going to just go back and forth here we don't see much with the body which is great so we see a slight disconnection with the hands and arms but the great thing is that slight disconnection does not affect her posture so it is okay if you want your hands to be loose like she is as long as it does not affect that posture we do see at the top of the swing a decrease in the spine tilt now that is means she's standing up taller and we see her crunching towards the golf ball so we see we've lost a slight posture but there is a reason for this because this changes her hand path i'm going to draw a green line straight from the butt of the club down to where the head was at the start typically when the hands and arms disconnect a lot we see the hands and arms moving first they have to pull back down and they're trying to get in the slot but not with her because she has maintained a pretty good connection she is still able to turn all the way through together so that nice one piece downswing you see the whole body is turning we don't see the firing of the hips we don't see the lower body spinning out while the upper body tries to hold that but what this will help you do is it pulls down the hands pretty close to those plane lines now you might like to take a look at this and say okay all those lines are now pointing down to where the club head was and that's good now if you take a look at where her lower plane line was and her upper plane line you might say that this is slightly steep so yes it is but remember how she stood up she is still standing up and losing posture as she gets down into it watch where those hands go they are still on that hand path and the club now has worked its way down this is also aided when she has lost that spine angle what happens is your body straightens up slightly when it straightens up the hands go out and up because they're just rocking basically on a 90 degree angle from the spine angle and what happens is when these go up your hands go up guess who comes down the club head comes down so this allows her to get on that lower plane line and now from here she just goes in head and turn now look at that one frame so the club head goes straight down that purple line while the hands are meeting where they should be so the hand path has met where it is so everything is just connecting at the same time as you strike that golf ball we don't see a lot of spinning with the lower body we see the upper body keeping up with that turn we don't see the upper body fighting we don't see excess tilt which is a huge thing but let's go on the right side of the screen and catch up with each other at the top of the swing we see immediately that that lower body driving to that left impact line which is great and we, let's go ahead and draw her spine angle line one more time and see if she maintains that so her head is doing a good job of staying in the box her lower body is driving so we see that right leg straightening out so this is also helping because we had to push up into the golf ball from her going slightly down and towards the golf ball and what we're doing is we're seeing an angle here so she has about close to a 180 degree angle that she has to strike that golf ball in now what you'll notice is let's draw a blue line and we'll draw it where her golf ball is connected to her chest it is still maintaining that same connection so the golf ball is connected to the center of her chest we see other golf professionals up in that left side region but the good thing now is she has this angle she can now release that angle with her hands and arms as they play catch up to the center of her chest so when she strikes it bang there's that strike and you see her hands go through that strike zone and right at impact we can see those hands now are playing catch up with the center of the chest and the club head is playing catch up with the center of her hands so she has found a way to work herself back to neutral at impact now remember that four press she had she cannot release the club face and this is that unique motion let's go to the left side of the screen and see that unique motion from this side as we strike the golf ball we can see those shoulders are in a beautiful tilt relative to her starting point now watch this the whole body now will go ahead and move together so that upper body is playing catch up she's holding off the release at this point and now her hands can release naturally see that club head rolling over and at this point here we can draw a arrow right through the center of her back and it will match the center of her hands so this is the move i really want you guys to try and focus on if you can is try to turn the whole body through at impact while maintaining your original tilt we don't see an excess tilt so this is a great swing that will survive a very long time and as she releases it we can see the hold off the release because the hands finish much higher than they need to on the left side if she was not holding off any release and because of the fact that she is rotating more her hand path is going to finish much higher we can see now now a decrease of her spine angle because of that excess rotation of her upper body also catching up with the lower body now we go into the fall through and we see now when we come on through 
guess what? The club path has worked back around to her original spine angle. So it's about 90 degrees from that angle. Right side of the screen, we see that same full release. And you can see here, look at the arms, how the right arm is, has a little slight bend. The right arm still has a slight bend, but the next frame, boom, everything's straightened out. So she's actually increasing her speed after she hits the golf ball. And this promotes a nice full wide follow through. We can see now the club is caught up to the right shoulder, well past the impact. And as we come on through, look at how wide that fall through is. So this is width. This creates power. This creates controlled release. And as we come on through, the heads come out of the box, but the whole body has finished on that impact line. So this is a very, very smooth motion. There is very little moving parts. The body stays pretty steady like a statue. And if you can take one thing away from the swing is control your body motion. If you can stay relative to your spine angle while maintaining your height, things work a lot easier. But obviously it takes time and dedication like she has since she was a little girl. So if you have not taken lessons with a PJ Golf Professional or LPJ Golf Professional, do yourself a favor, go find one. And don't forget, stretch, work out. Hope that helps everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also turn those notifications on. Ferris and Greens.